friends in this session we will learn how to post invoice for a service purchase order so i have a exercise data sheet here i need to post a invoice for a service purchase order so this is the purchase order number 4500 by posting date and document date is today current date and uh, we will use the same reference number also as equal to the purchase order number the amount we will see that from the purchase order and post the invoice okay now i will go to sap and uh, let me go to that the transition to post the invoice is myro miro myro enter So the first is you need to select number one invoice transaction. So invoice date today posting date is 11 10 just October 11th October post invoice date also same reference number same as the purchase order number 4511786 and here go to the PO reference tab page here in the PO reference tab page you need to select the first one purchase order schedule increment and put the purchase order number. 4500178655 and here of course you need to select the goods and service items okay now press enter the system will copy the services done by the vendor and which is accepted in the service entry sheet yeah it has already copied here so it has uh, the amount we need to put to the vendor is 640 euro what is the wait, this one 640 euro yeah tax is v3 that is which is 10 percent tax now let us say this is the po 440 or 178.65 if we see the yeah price is 640 euro it is already seen here which is uh, the service entry sheet is already accepted and this is the material document for the service okay now if we go to the service uh, if we go to the invoice tab page we can see the if we go to the invest tab page we can see the yeah tax tax code is not there okay now we need to input the tax code yeah even before posting invoice we can put the tax code here just i will exit from the posting of invoice and let me add the tax code here so 10 percent service tax is required here as per our exercise i will add that in the purchase order so go to the change mode In the change mode, we need to add the uh, tax code. What is the tax code? Tax code is uh, VS, that is for services. Yeah, add that one. The tax code is VS. VS. Okay, now what is the tax here for this one? VS. Just press enter. Yeah, check the taxes. Click this taxes button. Yeah, it is showing 10% some service or service tax here. So, come back now see if you see the net price here it is 1440 and that same you will see in the conditions tab page but actually that is that is not the price uh, of the actual uh, uh, service done by the vendor always you have to keep in mind that whatever the price you have maintained here in the services tab page per hour whatever it is and how much accepted in the service entry that only we are liable to pay to the vendor this will be this net price will be taking into uh, account the additional that is the cost here in the uh, expected value okay uh, apart from that uh, services price okay so that is this you should never consider in case of a service people only that is the price what we need to pay to the vendor is from the that is the uh, actually services that the vendor has performed that we can see it in the purchase order history i will show that one that is uh, how see this is the material document and this is the service entry sheet so which is already accepted for 640 euro not this one okay how i will go to the service entry sheet here so if we see here that is the 32 hours the vendor has worked and per hour is 2 is 20 20 into 32 that will come to 640 640 euro so this is the only price that we need to pay to the vendor as well as this is the price which will be copied to the Myro transaction when we are posting the invoice, not the net price in the purchase order. That is very important to keep in mind for service purchase order. Okay. Now I will go to Myro. I have added the tax code. Now I will go to Myro. 
and uh, of course first invoice then uh, invoice date is today 11th October reference 4500 our purchase order number go to the PO reference put our PO number 17865 and uh, we of course we need to select this purchase order scheduling agreement number one okay then the, put the PO number then here you need to select goods and service item this is important press enter okay user already put okay okay I think uh, I am this is in change mode right okay I had to go to the display mode okay that is why we will not be able to here yeah. so this was in change mode I should bring it to display mode now. yeah I will save this one because I added the tax code in the investor page Okay, purchase order number change. I have added the tax code here in the invoice tab, which is VS, which is 10% input tax. Now I will post the invoice. Okay, I will go to my row. Yeah, put the today's date PO number 17865. Go to the PO reference tab page here. Put the PO number as I already told you, and here enter. Now the system has copied the price 640 euro from the purchase order that is for the this is the price for the services already accepted or that is from the service entry sheet okay just now that is I have shown you that one in the PO history that is the, in the service entry sheet we have accepted services worth 640 euro the same price okay whatever we have accepted in the service entry sheet will be copied to the invoice and not the net price in the PO okay go, go to this one 640 now what is the tax code tax code is some VS so it is a service and 10 percent tax go to the taxes tax page so yes yeah this is the one okay so now we will delete this one at unnecessary vs something okay vs vs is the service this one just press enter okay after that one you go to the basic data tab page now it has copied a tax code vs okay vs that is 10. 10% okay now calculate tax click this calculate tax checkbox now it has calculated tax for this 640 640 euro the tax amount is 10% 64 euro and the total amount is 640 plus 64 is coming to 704 euro okay now we need to put this price here in the amount field here 704 704 and enter now the balance has become zero and the status the status of the balance is green now we can simulate and post the invoice click the simulate button yeah we can see the jail accounts to which the amount is posted 16000 this is the vendor account 704 euro and GRAR clearing account one nine that is the jail account is one nine double one double zero six forty euro and the GL account 154000 which is the input tax that is the service tax account which is 64 euro go back and post the invoice click the post button now the system will post the invoice and it will show the invoice document number generated in the message bar and after the invoice is posted we can see the invoice document number in the purchase order history in ME23N for the Purchase order Invoice is posted and the invoice document number is 510-560-9402. Just note on this one. 9402-510-560-9402. And, uh, and uh, you can just uh, see this invoice document. Purchase order is 9. 402 okay this is the invoice document number uh, you can check it in the purchase order history now 
I will go to the PO number 1786 by. So, as of now, that is before posting the invoice, we had the material document for the services, which is 500 ending with 810 and the service entry sheet. Now, we have just now we have posted the invoice. Now, if we go to this, uh, if we change this purchase order, that invoice document number will also come into the purchase order history tab page. I will click the display change button. Click this one. Yeah, click it again. Yeah, now go to the item detail and in the purchase order history, this invoice document is also accepted along with the material document and the service entry sheet. Just click on this invoice document number, invoice receipt. Yeah, so we can see this. This is the invoice. And we can see the final uh, accounting document for the invoice document by cl clicking this one, follow on documents. Yeah, this is the accounting document. 51000 ending with 21. Double click on this one. Yeah, this is the accounting document for the invoice document. And these are the uh, GL accounts. Okay, to which the amount is posted. This is the first one. This is for the vendor. Second one is GRIR clearing account. And this is the cost center is here. 4220. And the GL account is this one. 191100. And this is the input tax. This is the 64 euro that is going to the tax. And this is the GL account. 15400. Go back. Back. Yeah. So, this is how to post a invoice for a service purchase purchase order thank you for watching my video please give me your valuable comments likes and please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notification of my upcoming videos on other scenarios topics and exercises on mm